All right, here's how I made this liquid morphing letter here in Illustrator. I'm going to click on the fill, click on the none, click on the stroke. So it's going to be on the top. I'm going to go with the black color and let's select the circle, press and hold shift, create a circle and press control C, control F, or you can go to edit, paste in front. This is going to copy paste another circle on the top, press and hold shift plus alt, scale it down, something like this. I'm going to put it here, press and hold alt, drag it to the right, also press shift, make sure to intersect, and now press control D a lot of times until you create a lot of copies. Select all of it, press and hold alt, drag it down, also press shift, make sure to intersect, press control D to duplicate, do the same thing. And basically it should look something like this. I'm going to select all of it, press and hold shift and rotate it 45 degree angles. Press shift plus M or you can go to the shape builder tool here and I'm going to start connecting some of these elements right here. So for example, I'm going to start from here and I'm going to connect these together. For example, I can go up like this as well and create another circle here and just create a really interesting form. Now this is also a little bit more difficult to visualize because it can get confusing, but I think you can get used to it. So my idea is to create only the upper part of the letter E and then I'm just going to copy paste the rest. So from here I'm going to press shift plus X to swap and I'm just going to select these shapes, press and hold shift and select the ones which got stylized. Yeah, so this is it. I'm going to press and hold alt, drag it out and check that out. Press and hold alt, drag it downwards, right click, transform, reflect. I'm going to go with horizontal, click OK. Now I'm going to delete some of the elements, for example, these ones and the circle. And I'm going to try to connect. The bottom one became a little bit longer, but that's not a problem. And you also can customize these here. So it's going to make it look more authentic. And I'm going to add another one here. Now this came out really interesting already. So I'm going to select all of it. Let's go to Pathfinder, click on Unite. You also might find unnecessary anchor points, but I do have a plan for it. I'm going to smoothen it even more. So I'm going to go to Object, let's go to Path. Now let's select the new Smooth tool. And I'm going to go and increase it. I'm going to increase it with five. And it also removes the unnecessary anchor points. For the sake of reference, we're going to add some 3D. Let's go to 3D materials. Click on inflate. You can activate the ray tracing. And it looks something like this. And that's how you make this liquid morphing trick here in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.